Hello, this is Trey Alexander, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Ernie Ball Music Man Cutlass Artist Series, Jason Richardson HH. This is a very beautiful guitar with a lot of features, so there's a lot to unpack here. Let's go ahead and take a look at it. So let's talk about the woods a little bit. So what we have here is an alder body, and it's Rorschach Red is the color, which is just beautiful in person. Um, gold hardware. So you see that's all really pretty gold hardware, even on the locking shallow tuners. It's got a burl top, and you notice there's some pinstriping. So we have a maple pinstripe that goes all the way around the body of the guitar, and it's just gorgeous. Now you notice some features here in the back. We have a five bolt system here for the neck, so very stable. The back plate here is really cool because it allows for a little extra access to get to those strings. So, you know, you're doing gigs and stuff, it's just going to be easy to, to change those strings on the fly. It is an active pickup guitar, so it will take a 9 volt, but very easy to get to that plate, super easy to use. Input jack is here on the bottom round part of the guitar. And it does have a lot of really great ergonomic features, so you'll notice. Right here, it's just very comfortable to put your arm when you're playing for a long time. The bridge also has this plate in the back, which I find just really comfortable to put your hand so you're not scraping across those, those saddles. And they're really smooth on this guitar, actually, so really nice. This whammy bar is really good for that Jeff Beck style stuff, but it's also great for like whammy bar dives. Definitely a great system there. Um, it has a roasted maple neck with an ebony fretboard, 24 stainless frets, and a very flat radius on this guitar, so super comfortable to play. And it has a uh, super thin profile, so like a C-shape but super thin profile. It does have a compensated nut, so this is really helpful. It helps for some of those like open chord shapes. It's just gonna, they're going to ring in tune a little better. And yeah, again, that satin neck, you can see it changes up here. They have it finished for the headstock, but that whole, that whole neck feels almost like a hand rubbed oil finish. You know, it's really smooth and easy to play. All the spots where you're going to, you know, run into issues with your wrist or up against your side, they're all pushed off, like very ergonomic to play. The cutaway is really easy to get all the way up to that 24th fret. And that brings us to the pickups. So the pickups, we have two humbuckers here, and there's some really neat options here that you can do. So you, in standard mode, we have this front pickup, which is just a humbucker. Then we go to the middle, and this is going to go to parallel. So it's the two inside coils, very Tele-esque kind of sound, very awesome sounding. We go back to the bridge, and it's just a bridge humbucker back here. And this is where it gets interesting. So if I push this tone knob in, what I'm going to get is single coils now. So it's just going to be this top single coil. Then when I go to the middle, I'm still going to parallel. And then on the bridge, I'm getting this very back single coil. And they, man, I'll tell you what, the single coils sound really good. On a lot of guitars that have that feature, the single coils tend to drop a lot in volume. And it definitely doesn't do that. So Awesome. They did a stellar job on this guitar. Now, the other thing we have, if we go back into standard mode where we're just with our humbuckers, we have a 20 dB push here. So it's going to be just like having a boost pedal on your pedal board, but right on the guitar, which is amazing. And that works for every different option, you know? So you have those three spots that's going to work in, and then if you push this out, you have three more. So six different spots with that 20 dB push. And you know, you can still adjust that with the volume knob, so you can adjust how much boost you really want to get into, you know? Um, but you'll see as we do these demos, it's quite amazing how much it'll make that amplifier bark, you know? Even on the clean channel, you can get some like mid-gain type tones just from using that 20 dB push. Yeah, so let's go ahead and start listening to some of the pickup options. So we're going to start on the clean channel, and we're going to go through each one. I'm going to start with the single coil setup. So again, this is when I push this knob out, right? And we're going to be starting on this front neck pickup.
Okay, so let's take a look at the parallel setup here. So we got the two single coils on the outside now. And now the bridge pickup. Just awesome sound in single coils. Okay, so now let's hit it with that 20 dB boost. Now mind you, I didn't change anything on my amplifier. All I did was push that knob in. So that's that 20 dB boost. Let's hear it in the middle pickup position. the neck pickup listen to that one it's almost like having a boost you know like having a uh, second channel on your amplifier boost you know Okay, so let's look at the humbuckers on this guitar. We're gonna go through each of them and then put the 20 dB boost on it, okay? So here we go. Now with the 20 dB boost. So you can see how much that adds to that, right? So go to the middle one again without it and then with it it's just just so versatile and you can see how useful that could be at a gig you know you're hitting the front end of a princeton or a deluxe and it's really giving you some bark right so now the lead pickup without the boost So now with the 20 dB boost.
just awesome sounding. Okay, so now what you've been waiting for, the gain channel on the amp. So we're gonna crank that gain up and listen to how these react. As you see, I have the gain full tilt and I'm on the single call mode and it's pretty quiet for as much that's going on there. I mean, that amp, that amp is pegged. So let's go ahead and start with the front single coil. So this tone circuit is popped out so that we have the single coil mode. We're gonna to listen to each of these with the high gain setting now. to the middle position. And now we're going to take a look at this lead position, all single coils right now. Okay, now let's listen to it with the 20 dB boost. Now let's go to that middle position, now with the 20 dB push. single coil mode in the standard position, front neck pickup, and then I'll push that 20 dB boost to let you hear the difference. Now with the 20 dB boost. Okay, so all high gain settings, that was with the bridge with the 20 dB boost on the single coil. Now we're going to get to those humbuckers. I know you guys have been waiting long enough for it, so let's get to the humbuckers starting on the neck pickup.
Now let's hit it with that 20 dB boost. Now we're going to go to the middle position, do all the same thing. So we're going to have it in and, you know, without the 20 dB boost and then with it. and then with the 20 dB boost. And now the long awaited bridge humbucker. So let's get into this one. So we're gonna start in standard mode. Now with the 20 dB boost.
This is Trey Alexander signing off. Thank you guys so much for checking out the video. If you liked what you saw, please hit that subscribe button and sign up for notifications. Until next time, keep rocking and rolling.